What's cracking everybody? Why did I spend $250 on this? Not once, but twice. Yo, thank y'all for tuning in to another dope episode, man. I appreciate y'all. I, I mean, I think it's dope. <laughs> I think I think I'm doing a dope job, but appreciate y'all, man. If y'all could, if you like what you see, if you like me, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, follow me just to kind of help me keep improving. I told y'all last week I was at 86 followers. I went to 96. I went to 96. So... I think it was 89 followers. I don't know. But, like, I, I tried to get to 100. Almost did it in a week. So, thank y'all for listening, subscribing, and, and, and kind of being a part of the team. We're going to grow. All we got to do is do 100 10 more times, and boom, magic can happen, y'all. I'm saying. Like, won't he do it? <laughs> Today, I'm talking to you about the very pricey $250 Peter McKinnon variable neutral density filters i'm gonna tell you why i like it and why i think you might like it and if it's something for you you know how we get down this is for this this podcast i mean this podcast <laughs> this this youtube channel is for people who kind of starting up even if you're not starting up maybe i can help you out if i could break it down a little bit differently from i consider myself a real type of person so that's what we're gonna do here we're gonna talk about that peter mckinnon v and d filter so let's get into it First thing first, let me, I, I'm going to get into it right off the top. I told you, we be behind the curve sometimes on, over on this channel, over around these parts. We ain't always up to date on the latest stuff, but this stuff is still uh, important. I, the reason why I bring that up is because they just came out, Polar Pro just came out with a new Peter McKinnon version of a filter, which, yeah, damn, I just bought this, man. Like, and then they come out with a new one, like literally like a week later. That's crazy, but shows you that i'm not sponsored at all so these are real thoughts but nonetheless here's what we're talking about first of all v and d stands for like i said variable neutral density filter and what it does is it kind of how can i break this down takes the lighting if you're in harsh lighting and it allows your camera to see kind of like a sunglass for your for your camera lens so that's what it does. It, it, it kind of keeps the highlights so that they're, uh, you know, still visible. So, for example, when you're shooting up in the sky and clouds and sometimes that the sky looks like all muddy and, and no cloud definition, this allows you to get some of that cloud definition back. You just make the picture overall better. The other thing is if you have a camera and we're going to talk dynamic range, again, I'm not so technical on all the details, but y'all know what I always say. There's other people that do it. You know what I mean? I'm not going to name drop. I don't know who these people are. I watch them on YouTube just like everybody else. But they smarter than me when it comes to this stuff. I break it down. Layman's terms. Dynamic range is when you have, you know, for example, white on one end, black on the other end. And then the more colors of gray, variations of gray in between those, that's what dynamic range is. The, the, the more you have, the better dynamic range is. So when you have a filter on the camera with really good dynamic range or maybe even low dynamic range, the ability to save all that gray and that, that color by not having it blown out by lighting, harsh lighting, that's what that's about, okay? So that's very, very, very cross-level, <laughs> super cross-level, y'all. Don't don't take this. Don't be going around telling your friends, yo, I know what dynamic range is, you know, white, black, gray in the middle. No, don't, don't be doing that. Cause I don't need all that. I don't need all that hate coming to my, my channel, okay? Talking about I don't know what I'm talking about. So why spend $250 on the Peter McKinnon V and D from Polar Pro? Why do that? Why do that? I'm gonna tell you. First of all, the build quality of this thing is superb. Superb. You hear me? Like this thing, they not missing with this. Like, I don't know what they thought. Listen. They, they put in Peter McKinnon and Polar Pro. Y'all got, y'all, you know, y'all go together because y'all really snap with this. But there's a few things that I really like about this. Number one, like I said, that build quality is just amazing. Um, this one, if you look at it, just just the, 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 the technical aspect of what they did. So on the front of it, you got the Pete McKinnon. 
hit Peter McKinnon and Polar Pro, you know, signature right there in the, in the front. You know, uh, then you got this one particularly as the signature edition. So you got that right on the on the on the bottom of there. And then if you flip it over, you got the Polar Pro logo. Um, it's just a really cool thing. And then if you look here, you see the little ridges with the little gold trim. Just amazing build quality. Like how they they took their time and went into it to just make something that's like quality. It feels good in your hand. If when you throw it in the bag, you can rest assured this thing is protective. But that's just the beginning of where this thing is just absolutely dope. Just dope. Okay. I was talking I'm talking to you about the case, right? So this the filter is inside of here, right? The filter is inside of here. Uh, there's a front and back to it. So the cool thing about this is screws off, right? The cover. Yeah, I'm gonna screw it off live for you. You screw it off, and now you got the filter right there. There's the filter. Ah, uh, look, you can see my lighting. Boom, look. So you, you got the filter in there, and then you put it on the camera. I'm gonna demonstrate it for you here with my other camera. If I can just, I'm gonna demonstrate it. So when you take it off, you don't even have to touch the, the, the filter. You can just thread it on, just line it up like you would any other cap. Tighten it up on there. I got reasons why this one, particularly the 9095, is a little different. But then you peel the back of it off, and boom, there you go. Your filter is on. And here's the back plate. That's dope. You never had to touch the lens and get it all smudged up and, 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 and stuff. But now when you have it on there, look at how dope that looks, right? Just look at that. It just looks amazing. I mean, focus. Whatever, man. Whatever, y'all get it. It looks nice. You got this like nice little gold trim right around. Gold, bronze, whatever it is. Uh, nice, easy. What was that? Nice, easy, haptic feedback. So if you look on the ring there, the ring has, let's see. Can I feel, can I? Yeah, you see? So, hold on, let me cover my, there we go. You see, it's got these nice little numbers there so you can kind of tell where you are on the ring thread, right? Boom, 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 boom. So dope. Haptic feedback. I know you can't hear it, but like, trust me, this thing is dope. It lets you know where you are, how many stops you are. It's just the nice build quality on this thing, man. I just love this. And it, honestly, it looks cool. It looks like fantastic. <laughs> like, just makes the camera look the black and gold with the little red trim. Boy, this is an Avenger, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, the cool thing about it having like that haptic feedback where, you know, when you click down to two, four, three, four, five stops is the one I have to, I have the two to five stops and then they got a six to nine stop um variation of these i'll get into that a little bit more but the the cool thing about having that is that you don't get that cross fade if you go too far for example i have a cheaper one one that i've been using for a long time it's a knf concept one of their lower lines but i had this for a little while and you can see here that right now it's set to pretty high okay so i'll, I'll lower it down for you here to the minimum so you kind of see there but now if i wanted to i can twist this all the way you see it getting darker right there i twist this all the way to the maximum and it's super dark but then there's no stop here so you kind of get a cross fade so i'm still twisting it and i'm going back around to the beginning and you see it starting to light up again but when you're in that gray area type of thing you get what's called crossfading, I think. <laughs> crossfading is like when you do drinking and smoking. But you get like that crossfade where it's like dark in the middle, makes a little X in the middle of your shot. And the Peter McKinnon Polar Pro uh, version doesn't do that. So there you have it. That right there is super dope. I'm going to tell you the dopest thing about this lens filter system. If you have both pieces, right? You have both pieces. Now you got all these things just sitting around. What do you do? You throw it in the back. Check this out, y'all. You can take the front and back, and you can combine them. Put the put the back on the back of the front. <laughs> you could twist that in. Boom. So now it's one piece, right? So now you don't have to worry about where that other piece goes because now you got two extra pieces just laying around. 
But then also, what's really cool about this is I usually keep my lens cap off now and I use this as the lens cap cover. I just put this over and boom, there you go. Like I never have to worry about where I go. I could throw this in my bag and there it is. And like, look, you just pull it right off. Pull it right off. Now you have your cap and everything and you don't have to worry about it. So boom, boom, dope. But then if you want to put it away, just unscrew, unscrew it, take it, unscrew the back, boom. I have never touched the lens, the, the, the lens filter at all. My fingers never touched it, just the ring. So dope, really dope. This is one thing I really like about that. So the build quality is there and, and all the features that it has, it's just amazing. Now the Peter McKinnon version comes with two versions, right? So you can get the signature version, which is the one I've been using, the signature version, which is just variable neutral density filtration. So uh, again, both the mist, which I'll talk about, and the signature version comes in a two to five stops and a um, six to nine stop. The amount of stops depends on how dark you want your lighting to be uh, or how much you want to kind of, um, you know, take it down without losing much of your quality. And I should say, before I go on to the second one, um, second version, the miss, is the reason why you want to choose between the two to five or the six to nine. Is for example, I'm using the filter right now, okay? I'm using one of the filters on this video right now. You're looking at it. And I'm shooting at a two, 2.8 on my 16 to 35. Now, I don't have to go stop down on the camera to like a three this that and the other right now i'm shooting at a 2.8 and i have a two stops of light uh, on my filter already set so now it's the lighting that i like if i wanted to i can go down more i'll show you look so i can turn it down now i'm at three stops i'm at four stops i'm at five stops and it's really not a big difference. I mean, there's a big difference. You can see the uh, darker, but um, I, I kind of like it and prefer it, you know, at a lighter stuff. But that's not completely up to you. And not only that, back to the haptic feedback, I didn't even have to get up to see where I was at stop. I just knew where I was. So I'm going to put it back so you can kind of see the difference. And you all, you kind of tell me what you like to see. Like, which one did you like more? I don't know. I, I liked... I like this one, I don't know, it gives me a little bit more light, but also keeps a sharp detail. I don't have to make myself even dark. I could do that with uh, editing like I have here. <laughs> so uh, that's the cool thing about uh, those lenses, but that's why you wanna choose between a two or six, or a six to uh, nine, two to five, or six to nine. If I was outside and I really wanted to like drown out a lot of that light, full transparency, a two to five probably in bright daylight, is bright and sunny out here, I probably would have to go with the six to nine if I wanted to keep it at a 2.8 because was, I'm already letting a lot of light into the camera and then as well as it being bright and sunny outside, five stops of uh, lighting would probably not be sufficient enough for you know an outdoor situation with this. So just keep that in mind, depending on the look you're trying to go for, how dark you want to go, if you want to keep the bokeh in the background, even though I don't have it right here, so to say, um, you, you want to keep that in mind, right? So now the second one is, I kind of been talking about it. It's the mist edition filter here. Look, see, there you go. The mist edition and what mist edition does, hold on, wipe my eyes and just my face here. What mist edition does is mist edition adds variable neutral density uh, filtration, but also adds diffusion. And what that does is it takes light and it kind of softens it up and it softens up the whole image. So that's why, if you notice, I look maybe a little bit different. You know, I don't know if you could tell, I don't have a <laughs> before and after. Just the setup is just too doing too much. I Look, I was gonna take your boy's word for it, but it adds diffusion and the uh, dense, neutral density filtration variable ND. So, um, you get both of those, and it's, I think they say this is a, the first of its kind to do that. And what it does, like I said, is it softens up and gives you a bit more of a 
soft movie like i don't know if you want to go with that personally i like it i i like the way it looks but just to give you an idea of what mist does is it like i said it takes that light and kind of softens it and makes it burst a little bit more i'll give you an example check out this where's my phone at here it is right here so i'm going to flash my camera light onto the screen here and you'll see how that burst of light just looks way different check this out Look how much of that glow is happening, right? That That's crazy to have it kind of show like that. I'll show you with it off. Let me take the lens off here. Hold on one second. Just unscrew. Here we go. Now that I've got it off, look how different that looks. I'm going to flash this again. You can already see the color. It just looks a lot different. Like it's just so much light in here. This is not good. <laughs> this is not good. But I'm going to turn the flashlight on here again. And it doesn't look too crazy. You won't be the judge. Like, you can kind of see it's a little bit more of a harsher light. Not as much bloom. I don't know. You be the judge of this, right? Let me put this back on. Hold on. I don't know. You see, like, it just burst a little bit more. I don't know. I like it. I just like the way it looks. And plus, I don't have the studio, as you can see, to make it look even crazier so probably not the best example but again i'm trying y'all man just keep subscribing send some to your friends and spread the word so your boy can get on a little bit more but that's beside the point so why do i have a mist and a signature uh line well one i want to see what both of them do right <laughs> i just want to see what both of them do but mainly i like the mist i use the mist for these talking head videos and especially when i shoot outside for my podcast I, we're outside in the streets of Chicago and it's bright and sunny out there. So I like to have the filter on there because I can change, you know, soften up that light, give me a little bit more of that movie look. And I just like the way it looks, but it blooms the light. And I kind of like that. A lot of people don't like when you get those light rings and the sun bursts and things like that. <clears throat> I kind of like it. I don't know. Just me. I like it. Plus, I like this because when I'm walking, I can diffuse the light and take and use the V and D feature without having to look again at the screen and I can adjust on the fly. It's pretty dope going on. Look at this light. Look at this light. Okay. okay. There it is. That, that'll work. Uh, <laughs> now the signature edition, the signature edition is a little bit different. Um, I use this one for mainly B roll. Um, just because the B roll, I don't really want that light blooming and that soft effect i kind of want the product to be sharp and keep that sharpness and not the softness of the edge and things like that so i kind of use it for for that reason which is which is dope and i know i have a 95 <laughs> thread here for a lens that's not necessarily a video lens um but i found a way around that actually if you just turn off the uh autofocus servo mode if you turn that off and you put it on a, a tripod where it's stabilizing not moving you can actually get really good video out of that i found it i'm not doing it but i found it but i do like to shoot b-roll when i can with it because b-roll you don't need a lot of time with b-roll so if it does focus breathe what whatever i use the signature line for that reason and that might be a reason why you want to do it okay just to give you a heads up some things that you should probably know if you are looking at getting this lens and just maybe some things that I know they fixed already because they have the new version of it, but these in particular, if you don't want to spend, I think those are like $299 to $350, so another 100 bucks, I think, for the new magnet magnetic locking system that they have, Helixes, I think what they call it. Um, so if you don't want to spend the extra money, here's some things that you should know about this in case you do get it. And, I, and honestly, I will still at least get one more of them because I kind of like leaving them on. You know to save a little bit of money also i do want one of those locking ones because i use two particular lenses 70 to 200 and 16 to 35 and they have the same thread size so i use those all the time so to be able to interchange those i'd probably get that however the rubber piece when you bring it when you are trying to pull it off of the camera lens uh off of the filter lens when it's on there that can sometimes be a little tough to get on and off, uh, not on, but like off. So I don't know if that's something that you want to maybe consider uh, when you are picking this thing out. 
it, it takes some getting used to. You know, I, in particular, sometimes I have uh, some trouble getting off of the 16 to 35 and the 70 to 200. So it's just something to consider. But also, I wanted a 95 millimeter thread just because nobody else really did a video on the 95 thread. Uh, any filters so i wanted to know what that looked like on a bigger thread size so i got it for that reason but then also what i found out is when you i am trying to put the 95 signature on the um on the the lens that thread sometimes doesn't thread the right way so i don't know what that's all about and it, it could be a little bit more cumbersome to kind of put on and and to take off sometimes it I don't know it just seems weird so just those are the only two things that i can honestly say because i have them but you know just something to consider i don't know how many people are going to get a, a lens filter for the 95 being real 100 percent being real <laughs> like whatever in conclusion though what i will say is that if you can afford these things i would say get them again not out of budget you definitely can get other lens filters and they will do a great job of doing the same thing, helping you out with lighting, keeping your grades, your highlights, and things like that. Uh, so you don't have to spend $250. Me personally, because I've used these, I will probably always use the Polar Pro, maybe Pete McKinnon, or I would spend that money for them. You know, I just, I like it too much. I like the way it looks. I like the fact I could just throw these in the bag and they look cool i don't know i just like the packaging of it it's just easier than this thing right here you know what i mean like what is what is this this is ridiculous it's got like a little phone piece with this little thing i don't know they just don't look i like the quality of it also so the quality of it it feels durable um the pieces and they thought about everything this little metal it's just so get it if you can but honestly from me to you if you you can't afford you don't need to get all this stuff man you don't have to you don't have to do it i'm just trying to be real with you like you there's other things man i just i'd be spending money just ridiculously but <laughs> make a smart decision based on what you need if you can get it get it if not move on get something else and finally here's some good vibes if nobody has told you yet in 2023 let your boy be the first one to tell you i hope your year continues to go strong we got four more, five more months left in this year. Finish out strong. If nobody told you, I'm gonna tell you, I love you. Nothing you can do about it. Y'all stay safe. If you like this channel, please like, subscribe, follow, do what you gotta do, share with somebody. Until next time, my people.